Welcome, my name is Corinne Allen. I work as an art therapist and a sensory specialist. I use Neurographic a lot with my clients for trauma recovery or stress relief. And I would like to show you that today in this mini workshop. Here is a Neurographic art piece I made earlier today for your workshop. Neurographic is very easy to learn. You only need a paper and a pen. You can do it anywhere before a meeting or before an airport. It helps you to connect with your emotions, with your heart, your mind and your body. It's a holistic art modality. You can find neurographic lines in nature anywhere you go. This is a beautiful stone I picked up on the river and you can see the beautiful lines. Neurographic helps us as well if we overthink or we maybe have anxiety, maybe you go through lockdown or COVID. It's a really, really fantastic art modality. And if you go to Google Neurographic, you find a lot of information there. So let's start. I'd just like to show you how to maybe make one of those art modalities I have here. And uh, the first thing I like to show you is how to connect with your own neurowave. A neurowave is something individual we have, like a fingerprint, and you all will do your neurowave differently. I always start on the left side and work up to the right side, so shake your arm a bit, relax, um, so you're in the move. and. And I work my way up to the right side of the paper. This is my neurographic line. The neurographic line does not follow any pattern. It's not a straight line like one thought or an angry line or a relaxed repetitive line. It's none of that. It completely follows its own way like a neurowave in the brain. It just does what it does to connect. So once I have done my line, a neurographic, which means I go over it, but really relaxed. I'm not going to try to follow the line very perfect. I just go over it very relaxed. So this is my neurographic line and you can practice a little bit on a white piece of paper. I start now with the art piece I like to show you. I have here a little watercolor paper we're going to use. So you can use anything you like. You can use marker. I use as well pens which are watercolor based watercolors. You just can use whatever you have at home. I prepared some images for you for the workshop to show you. This is um, I drew three circles and then I used the neurographic line from the inside outside a little bit like a mandala. And I just used the green colors which I find really relaxing on that day and I find it as well relaxing only to work with one color. Here is a different one which I just did black and white which is even simpler and on that day I just needed very needed clarity and I didn't even wanted to use colors because I felt different and here I did a little bit doodling in it. This one here, I drew, it's a, to the emotion of passion, which is inclusion and acceptance for me, which is a strong emotion and therefore I use quite strong colors. I used watercolor pens and I merged them with water. And yeah, so here you have a few samples. We're gonna do something like that now. So, let's start our neurographic art piece. I just start with my neurographic lines. I 
And I make a minimum of three lines because of triology, body, mind and soul. And I make a maximum of eight lines, otherwise it gets too busy for my brain and it's not relaxing. Now we're going to do a line from the right side of the corner up here and a neurograph it again. And I make a line in the middle here. Those are my three lines today. And you can see each line is different. It's like a different sort, a different connection in the brain. So that's our neurographic line. I just make three today to keep it simple. The next step I'm going to do is to make connections here because those are almost like our support lines and I strengthen them. You can do that any way you want, as big as you want. It's your art piece. The beautiful thing about neurographic is as well, you can't make any mistakes. How relaxing is that to draw away from the perfection, the mindset of perfection and just draw anything which really makes us happy. So each of your neurographic art piece will look different every day. The next thing I'm going to do is to give myself support. Maybe I downloaded a lot of stress, so maybe I go to a big life transition and I maybe need to give myself a little bit support. So I'm going to add here another line and I connect it. Connect it as well to the existing line here. And I'm going to give myself another little line here. And now I feel really centered and really connected. And I can notice as well, I had a little headache before, it's gone now. And I can notice as well my breathing. So if you draw, maybe notice what your body body sent you what kind of signals. It's quite interesting to observe. The next thing we're going to do is everywhere where two lines cross each other, we're going to make a connection. And I just go in and out and I color that in. Here I have about five, six connections or crossing, which um, I connect in one, one connection. You maybe have a lot, or you maybe only have two or three, but you maybe have a lot, and just take your time. That's a really relaxing part, I find. And it looks already a little bit like neuroconnections. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to add circles. The circle is the symbol of harmony, like the sun, like the planet Earth. And you can add your circles anywhere you want. I have here a curve and I feel it quite naturally comes into it. And I just freehand do this circle. It doesn't need to be perfectly round and I connect it again to the existing line. If you want to use things you have at home lying around to maybe make a perfect circle, you can do that too if it helps you. You can use um, any, any lids or Tupperwares you find at home. I use that one up here. Some people find that easier. And I connect my circle again onto my line here. And I go as well around it, make it a bit strong. And with the circle, I harmonize my stress now. Like we downloaded the stress onto the paper. 
And this circle gives my brain now the signal of harmony. And it's a very old symbol. We use it as well in the peace sign or ancient cultures like the Incas and the Egyptians used it for many, many years. And I add another little circle here. And I add as many circles as I like till I feel, you know, the stress in my mind has left me, the overthinking, the overanalyzing, and I feel relaxed. Maybe. And here I connect this as well to my existing neurographic lines. Wherever I have lines coming into the circle. And here I make a connection. Yeah, so these are my circles now. I'm quite happy with that. The next thing I'm going to do is to create cells anywhere which I have little departments. I make a cell out of it and the cell is just that I round everything. In nature everything is round or rounded, like you find these lines even in rocks. The only time you maybe would have a straight line is if a rock would break, but even then it wouldn't be completely straight. So nature has a beautiful way of creating these natural lines everywhere. And this is the reason why our brain can recognize it so easily. And of course our brain as well works in waves. So I have another cell over here. And the negative spaces I just color in. And if I make somewhere a little line I don't like, I just go over it again. And if you have big cells like that, you can use that, or if you maybe want to make it a little bit smaller, you can. I'm going to add here a little circle while I work, just because I feel it's nice. Just feels it goes quite nicely in this spot. You can add that at any time you draw. Yes, and here is a cell. And I use a step below marker, so if I start to work with watercolors after, it doesn't make, um, sort of, it doesn't smirch, it doesn't bleed. And you can see my lines are really wobbly, but that's, I like to do it like that because it relaxes me and it's a way of my mindset of perfections. And if you feel you need to make somewhere another line, you can do that in this process at any stage. I have here now a little group of circles, almost like a family. So, this is now my neurographic picture. And I start now to color in. And um, I use here some colored felts. Those are watercolor based and some pencil. And I made as well some watercolors ready. You can use anything you want. And I just start to use, sort of collect the colors I like to work. Colors are always unconsciously chosen. You choose colors you like. 
whatever makes you happy. And those are the colors which work for me today. And um, I really like as well pencils because with pencils I can do really gentle emotions. I can control how much emotions I want to download. And with felts, um, they are a little bit stronger and I can connect with different emotions I can feel. Try as well to breathe in and breathe out while you're doing it. Consciously being in the moment and relax. And you just enjoy this moment created a half an hour of quietness. I quite often do it after dinner. I leave the dishes and the washing and I just sit down on the dinner table and take my felts out and sit down and often the children are going to join me. We have a little bit of chat about our day and then we spend a bit of time together. My children really love it, even my teenagers, because it really is so easy for them to do. I use it as well with my younger clients which have dyslexia, dyspraxia or dyscalculia. It helps them to make new neural connection and find a different way of learning. And it helps them as well if they stressed because they maybe get frustrated. Something doesn't work for them. And rather than emotionally shutting down, they release the stress. And as more relaxed we are, as better we can work and as better decisions we can make. And now I'm just going to use a little bit of water here. And I just start to work a little bit here on my art piece. I really love those watercolor felts, they just merge so nicely and we can mix colors as well. I don't wash the brush in between because I just think it's quite nice how those colors just naturally mix. There's a little bit purple in here now. I don't mind, I think it's quite nice. So this is my little neurographic art piece I made today. I prepared some different ones here. This is the green one. And uh, here is again this black and white one and the red one. Here is a neurographic art piece a client of mine made really beautiful, really love how she merged the colors. I have to ask her, I think she used watercolors here. There is another one. I think she was inspired by a walk she made on the river and she collected some stones and she made this beautiful art piece when she came home. This is a client which made with me one or two workshops this one I used ink. I just put, put a few drops on a watercolor paper. It was a wet watercolor paper. And when it dried, I just started to doodle a bit. And yeah, did that. Here I used one just with pens because it was a really gentle download. I wanted to spend some attention to a feeling I had. I wanted to explore it a bit. 
And here is one which one of my students, he's 13, he's going to college, he's working on. It's not quite finished, but it's really beautiful. I really like how he played here with the colors. He mixed them. It's going to be stunning when it's finished. So this is my neurographic card I showed you today. And I really hope you enjoyed this workshop. I hope you use it to manage your stress. If you would like to know a little bit more about Neurographic, please go to my website www.neurotherapy.nz. I would love to hear from you or see your art. Thank you very much for joining me.